Hi everyone, this video is a part of Macquarie University's coding tutorials. Hi everyone, today we'll be talking about operators and the order of operations. Some of this might be familiar to school mathematics, but there are some key differences. Keep a close eye out. Operations. The program we write are made up of lines of code called statements and expressions. We've used these terms before. The statements are bits of code that actually do something, while expressions have a value we can access. So far, we have focused on expressions, and in recent sections, while talking about variables, we have looked at statements. For now, there will be a focus on expressions. We have the usual mathematical operators such as addition, subtraction, and multiplication, but we also have division and a remainder operator. These might work differently than you expect so we'll make sure to highlight those key changes. Let's go through the operators now in no particular order. We'll talk about the order after we go through all the operators. Addition and subtraction. Starting with addition and subtraction, these two operators are usually straightforward. With ints and floats, we have normal addition and subtraction. 27 plus 3 equals to 30. 27 plus 3.0 is equal to 30.0. 15 minus 8 is equal to 7, but 15.0 minus 8 is equal to 7.0. Multiplication. When we are using ints and floats, multiplication is probably going to work as you expect. Here are some examples using floats and ints. 5 multiply 9 equals 45, 5.0 multiply 9 is equal to 45.0, and 3 multiplying 1.2 is equal to 3.6. Division forward slash. Division is where things start to vary, particularly with int. When we divide with ints, once again, we cut off the decimal point after the operation is completed. As a reminder, we don't round up or down, we cut or drop the decimal point. Here's an example. 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3. In a normal setting, the answer would be 3.4, but when we are using ints, we drop the point 4 from the result and are just left with the whole int, which is 3 in this case. When we are dividing floating point numbers, we don't run into the same rule about cutting off the values after the decimal point. As we said before, floats are more precise than ints. So when we have a decimal point after a division when using floats, we get to keep it. A good rule of thumb is trying to match the same format and looking for the most accurate number available. Here are some more examples. Note the position. 17 divided by 5.0 is equal to 3.4. 17 divided by 5 is equal to 3. 17.0 divided by 5.0 is equal to 3.4. And 5.0 divided by 1.2 is equal to 4.16666. Remainder. The remainder operator is denoted with the percentage sign and it is also called a modulus operator. We'll try and keep it consistent for the series. The remainder operator is similar to the division operator, but instead of returning the value of the division, we return with the remainder of the division. An example is if we have 17 modulus 5. This expression creates three equal groups of 5 out of 17, but we have two left over, so 2 is our answer. Here are a few more examples. 24 modulus 8 is equal to 0, meaning that 24 evenly divides into 8 with nothing left over. 11 modulus 7 is equal to 4, and 55 modulus 5 is equal to 0. Order of operations. So now we have seen all of the operators we can use in our programs, 
The next really important step is the order of those operations when they appear in the same expression. The general order is as follows. 1. Brackets. Anything inside brackets must be done before anything outside the brackets. 2. Multiplication, division, and remainder operators are next, in the order they occur in the expression. 3. The last operators are addition and subtraction, again in the order they appear in the expression. Let's look at some examples with the order of operations. Firstly, we have a equal to 3 plus 5 multiplied by 2. Here, we know that there are no brackets, so the order starts at the multiplication phase with 5 multiplied by 2. We then add 3 with 10, and the result is 13. Our next example has some brackets that we need to be mindful of. Open brackets 3 plus 5, close brackets, multiply 2. Here, our first priority is the brackets, which is 3 plus 5 equaling 8. Next, we move down our list and see that multiplication is next in the order and the only operator left in the expression. So now we have 8 multiplied 2 equals 16. Here, we can see the difference in the order of operations. Even though the numbers here aren't too far apart, Getting the order incorrect can lead to some very confusing errors. Always double check if you are unsure. That's all for this section. You're doing great staying with us so far. Thank you and see you soon.